Well, I just published a video about the bevel weights problem. It was too sharp and so I applied the bevel and play around with the vertices in a manual way. But then I got a message from my friend Christian Grajewski. He's an amazing person and he told me that you can actually go on the bevel. Let me show you on the bevel modifier. If you just go under geometry here, if you just unbox, uncheck this clamp overlap, it basically does what we did. It avoids that two close edge loops collapsing the bevel. It avoids that problem. So as you see now we have the bevel. But another thing is I just need to shade smooth to be sure because sometimes I use auto smooth and it might be also another reason. And then I'm gonna just increase this radius a bit more now the bevel. Let's say for example five millimeter and apply all the transforms to be sure. And as you see it solved the problem that I was talking about for minutes. This is a faster problem. It's actually also better for the shot lines and stuff. I think it catches a little bit of light. On my previous version, previous video, I didn't apply to the door lines because it was like, it sounded like too much work. But in this way, let's see it rendered. However, I still have problems like on the here on this topology, also on the front headlight, I see a little bit of problem here. So you still need to tweak things around. Like probably if I just quickly add an edge loop from both sides to see. It's kind of like a fixable, but of course, rather than randomly adding edge loops, we need to be a bit more careful about the topology. However, that's it. Thank you, Christian. I can imagine some other people who are watching this channel knew that solution and I didn't. So I just learned it. There's always multiple ways to fix problems in Blender. And this is definitely now one of my favorites. See you in the next video.